Right, it's quarter to ten. What's your name? Where do you come from? Good morning, Miss Ian, and I'm from Wigan! Hey! Good morning. Give me strength. <laughs> Cheers, Ray. Right. Morning, Ray. Right. Yeah. Get a life. Thank you very much. No, no. I hate students. He's not a, he's not a student. He's not, he's... He irritates me. Right, okay. uh, everything all right, Ian? All good. Cheers, Chris. Yeah. What did you do last night? Uh, I went for a run, and then I chilled out at a couple of beers and watched a Chelsea game. Idiot. <laughs> Shut up, right. Uh, who would you, were you... Were you supporting Chelsea? Uh, not really, no. No, OK. Mm. So no. who do you want to win now, Chelsea Man U? Uh, oh, God, that's a tough one. Uh, probably Chelsea. OK. Yeah. Uh, right, who would you prefer Don't to... talk to me! <laughs> <laughs> OK, why? I'm ironing my pants. <laughs> <laughs> you still in the Merck Sprinter van? I certainly am. Right, let's hear the horn, Ian. Beautiful, hang on there. And on line two, it's contestant number two. Contestant number two, what's your name or where do you come from? I'm Tom and I'm from Tumbridge. Please, if there's anybody listening in the policy, this system just doesn't work. <laughs> A mate of mine said to me yesterday, he goes, I love car park catchphrase, I love that it's back. I used to love it when you used to have all those thickos on. And I'm like, well, guess what? <laughs> They're back. They're back. <laughs> Hey, no, not you though, Tom. Of course. Oh, 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 thanks. Tom, where are you from? Tumbridge. Tumbridge. Oh, In very, Kent. Very nice. Mm. I have a friend who lives there. Really? Mm. Sheila. 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 My who? cock. <laughs> <laughs> right? Do you really have? A, do you actually really have a friend who lives there? <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> right. Okay. Tom, your surname is Munns. Munns. M U W N S. Yes. Wow. Tom Munns. Tom Munns. Tom Munns. Yep. Tommons. 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 Right, you're a single man, aren't you? Yes, I yeah, am. I thought you would unfortunately. be. Unfortunately. Uh, oh, what, what do you do? I am a student. Ah, ah. hey, Roy! Roy? You there? I'll pass. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> I just thought you were going to do your I hate students line. I hate students. Brilliant, there you go. What uh, are you studying? Drama. What? Drama, sorry. Drama, okay. Yeah. Seriously, wait, this was the best. This was the best one. You sound theatrical, Tom. Yeah, you. The you... best one we had. This yeah, guy. There's, there's, there's a reason they picked me. Why? Why is that? Why is that then? Um, this. That's my horn. Oh, you have musical testicles. I <laughs> see. That's amazing. <laughs> that's, that's brilliant. Yeah. Wow. Okay. No wonder you belong on stage. Yeah, Rachel's just uh, written down lively and entertaining. Mm. Chris. <laughs> 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 Sorry, am I not entertaining enough? What's, uh, so that's your horn? It is, yes. Okay, so you well, have, it's my you... second horn, I have two. I have a boring one as well. Right, so you have a car that, like the General Lee in the Dukes of Hazard. Uh, n no, I have a Rover Metro. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. believe that was, uh, that was Daisy Duke's vehicle of yeah. choice. Was but I do Metro. climb in through the windows. <laughs> yeah, so I go in through the beach. <laughs> oh, do you do that because you want to be just like the Dukes of Hazard? No, the door stuck. <laughs> no, it was a birthday present from my friend Phil. What, the horn? Yes, it oh, was. Okay. <laughs> let's let's hear it again. <laughs> it's it's very similar to the Dukes of Hazard horn. Oh, yeah. it is exactly the same. Why? Well, I've got to be honest. I wouldn't say exactly. Well, not exactly. No. Well, I think it's because they're plastic horns, a bit cheaper than metal ones. Doesn't sound the same. I don't know. <laughs> it's slightly out of tune yeah, at the it's end, like, isn't it? It's like Mark and Lard doing their version of it, isn't it? Well, it is in a Rover Metro. What are you going to do? Uh, hang on, let, let's compare and contrast again. <laughs> <laughs> it gets lost at the end, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, I just realised there's a man sleeping in a car next to me. He just woke up, looked up and looked at me. That was quite strange. I thought nobody was in the car. All right, well, if he, if he looks at you, if you wind the window down and just go, mate, I'm trying to sleep, stop beeping your horn. Mm. You. <laughs> um, all right, uh, Tom, say hello to Ian. Hello, Ian. Hello, pal. How are you? I'm all right. Good, good. 
Listen to that chemistry. God. He's an oh, amazing mate. chap. And this is, it's... <laughs> Revenge of the Idiots. Hello? <laughs> good, good. Here we go. Oh. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Rrr, fight you. Uh, right, OK, are you ready to play, Ian? Yeah, ready. Do you think you're going to beat him? Yeah. Tom, no do you think you're going to win? Yeah, totally. Tom, one more time, let's see your horn. <laughs> and Ian, let's see yours. You can tell them apart, <laughs> can't you? <Yeah. laughs> right, let's play. Horns at the ready. Fingers steady. Let's play Car Park Catchphrase. <laughs> All right, best of luck to both of you. <laughs> I'm going to beat you. I'm Luke Duke. <laughs> right, here we go. Mr. Fish is skint at the moment, Ian. So he's trying to work out a way of making some cash. He needs to sell some stuff, and he's hatched a cunning and devious plan. Next to Mr. Fish's house is a climbing centre where they've got loads of gear. Wow! Who is that? That's, uh, Ian. Ian. Who, who yeah. was that? What is it? I've forgotten. <laughs> uh, Ian, go what's your answer. Uh, money for old rope. You're absolutely right! Oh. That's the car park. Hey. That's the well done to you. That was quick, wasn't it? Incredible. You don't mess around, do you, Ian? Easy. Do you know what Ian does for a living, Dominic? No. He writes the questions for Car Park Well, Hunter that's what I thought, yeah. <laughs> he, he emails them to me, and <laughs> I, I print them. Come on, Tom. Sorry. Okay. Bit slow. No. I have a funny feeling they won't get the second one. I'm going to jump to the third one. And do you know what? I think they'll have trouble with that as well. The dodgy man next to me is leaving now. Oh, is it? That's because you've woken him up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's going to go straight to work to editorial policy and get working <laughs> on stuff. <laughs> All right, let's have another car park catchphrase. You need to get this one right, Tom. I know. Okay? Yeah. As soon as you think you know, get in there. Okay. Mr. Fish is working as a cameraman for ITV, and he's out at a film premiere with top GM TV presenter Ben the Shepherd Shepherd. Hmm. Mr. Fish and Ben are on the red carpet waiting for the stars to turn up, and Ben seems fascinated with the sky. Oh, rubbish. I'm gonna... I'm, I, I've gone deaf, by the way, yeah, so yeah. let me know... Let me know if someone buzzes in. Okay. Nothing so far. It's kind of sunset time, and Ben is absolutely delighted because the sky is red, Tom. <laughs> I... Go I, on, Tom, you fricko. <laughs> Even he... <laughs> yes, Tom! Red sky at night, seven tonight. Oh my God! You're absolutely right. Yay. Yay. That's the car park we're after. Well done, you. Cheers, Ian. Well done, Tom. Mm. Sunset time, shepherd's pie. <laughs> is it? Shepherd's is delight. it? Is it red sky at night? Shepherd's Money delight. for old rope. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> is it Turkish delight? Tastes like? Is, I don't know what it is. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. So, Ian, uh, this is it now. You're, let's be honest, Ian. You're going to win. Uh, right. And Tom, <laughs> you, let's be honest. You'll be embarrassed. I am. Here we go. It's one apiece, so it's all to play for. Here's the last one. Mr. Fish is away. He's youth hosteling in Belgium, Dominic. Wow. He's staying at, at a small centre near Antwerp with some pen pal friends of his. Hmm. Now, the youth hostel is run by a very small Belgian man called Thomas Thumb. <laughs> uh, he seems very strict, doesn't tolerate any fun whatsoever. On every wall of the hostel, there are rules saying that you can't do this and you can't do that. Oh, I'm going to tell you what, Ian. Right. I know you went in first. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, just tell me off the air what it is. Oh, actually, you're wrong. <laughs> no, right, okay. right, say what do you think it is? Under the thumb. It's the wrong answer, I'm afraid. Ooh, okay. Ooh, so a good one. There is a chance, Tom, we could get in here. Yeah. But I doubt it. It takes intelligence. Um, so, on every wall of the hostel, there are rules saying that, you know, you can't do this and you can't do that. So, Mr. Fish decides to have a word with this, this Thomas fella. Thomas Thumb, who is no fun. Mm. How can we kind of have any fun in this youth hostel? Asked Mr. Fish. Because that is the rule. Is it the rule of thumb? Never. Never. You're a winner! <laughs> Ian, what happened? Um, got it. Ian, I had, I had a put like the Liverpool game last night. <laughs> I thought you'd, have, I thought you'd have stormed it. Um, got it, Chris. Oh man. <sighs> well, I won anyway. Uh, Ian, you've been a great contestant. Right, cheers, Chris. Like in the weakest link, you're leaving nothing. Yeah. 
Anyway, have a good day, pal. Right, cheers. See Bye. You. Bye. Bye. Tom Munns, you've won something. Way. Way. And let's hear that horn again. I've been in Hazard County. In Kent. Can I say hi to some people? What? Can I say hi to some people? Yeah, sure, yeah. Oh, we lost him. Oh. Disappointing. Sorry about that. There he goes. You know how it goes, don't you, Roy? What's Sarah Chapman gets cut off? Who? You. That's right.